But uh, again, I do have to kind of figure out what I want to do with my life. I uh, recently decided to be an English major in college because I was a pre-med major, but then I found out it's just a TV show, so I was like, all right, it's not going to pan out too well. Um, so uh, I started really figuring out what I want to do as a career and decided what my ultimate goal in life would be, and I figured out how to get there uh, after, I, after I discovered that. So I decided I want to own my own island. Because that seems cool as shit, you know what I mean? You have your own island, you have your own space, do whatever you want. It sounds kind of silly, it sounds kind of ridiculous, but like a lot of celebrities and millionaires are already doing it, like they've already got their own island. I know what you're thinking, you know, that's kind of silly, but uh, even the lead singer of 311 has it. He's got his own island, you know? And now you're going, ah, didn't mean to be such a downing Thomas Connor. Didn't realize uh, Mark Hexum was doing so well. And I uh, didn't really even know his name was Mark Hexum until he just said it on stage. So, that said, uh, I'm gonna get that out of the way. You don't have to apologize to me, I don't think we know each other that well. Um, but uh, the other thing is, if I have my own island, I have my own space to do whatever I wanted, you know, with everybody going, Connor, you can't do that, that's illegal, or Connor, don't do that, that's immoral, or Connor, you can't teach your dog Italian, and they're like, look, it's my dog, don't mean have such a sense of entitlement about it, but uh, I didn't think I had to debate you. So, um, either way, uh, that's what I want to do, because I want to own my own island. But um, what happened was, as I started thinking about it, I was going, uh, if you do want to own an island, there's only so many that are really inhabitable, you can actually live on. And if the celebrities and the main hairs are already doing it, they're already buying them up, there's only going to be so many that you can actually live on. So that was kind of a, a problem. Then I saw Discovery Channel, and they had a documentary where the CEO of some real estate company apparently had the same concern I did, but he, uh, he took it a different way. He was like, no, 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 violence, fuck it, I'll build my own island. And he did it, he built his own fucking island. That's ridiculous. I didn't know you could do that, but apparently this guy didn't care. He went ahead and did it. He got these giant machines that actually like suck sand out of the bottom of the ocean, spit it up in the sky, falls back down in the water in a pile, and it makes an island. Actually works. That's ridiculous. But it's cool. And that's good because that means that if I do get older and I have enough money, I can go ahead and buy my own island. You know, the problem with that is I thought about the flip side. And uh, if I ever actually do want to buy my own island, I'm going to have to do business with a super villain. Because that's pretty much the only guy who has that mentality. Who says, uh, not enough natural land features, eh, I'll go ahead and build my own one. You know, he's like, go ahead, build my own island in the shape of a skull with a giant throne on top with a hole in the center of it. It's little kids that come up and took him a ball. He's <laughs> saying he's going to do that, but this guy's obviously not constrained by uh, social boundaries. So he's kind of a, kind of a wild card.